The fire completely gutted the 18 by 18 structure and all its contents. The house was occupied by two adults and four children. Mary Judge, sister of the affected family, spoke of what may have transpired. Really, yesterday the roof in the house was spaxing. So we called Grand Lake, but we didn't get you. So we get you with Fabian. And Fabian tells us he has something doing. So when he finished, he will come over to check and see what's going on. But he come last night, 10 o'clock. He check it out and then he say, well, leave the main switch off, which they did that. This morning they say he come back again, saying they have to get me a box, some, some box or some line or something. To, to surprise to knowing that as he turned it back, the horse was on fire. Everything gone, nothing left, nobody to save anything. So, Being able to be back on their feet again is the next move for the family. Any assistance extended to them will be appreciated. Well, the next move is see how we could get back up fast on our feet again to send the kids back to school. The more assistance we get, it will be better for us to move on. To get some clothes and some school back to school stuff and other food stuff and any little other things that they could help stretch for their hands and everything. Mary is thankful no one was hurt in the fire. Thank God we have life. Thank God nobody didn't get damaged or nothing. The affected family will be staying with other family members. Investigations into the fire is ongoing.